President Trump going on the offensive just a couple of hours ago, dropping the hammer on former FBI Director James Comey's testimony, along with those who are accusing him of obstruction and collusion. Roll tape. No collusion, no obstruction. He's a leaker. James Comey confirmed a lot of what I said, and some of the things that he said just weren't true. Now, this, of course, follows President Trump's tweet this morning, also slamming Comey, which reads, quote, despite so many false statements and lies, total and complete vindication, and wow, Comey is a leaker. Here to discuss Gina Loudon in studio, Bill Gavin and Joe Walsh. Joe, it's been a while. Let me start with you. Uh, what, what do you make of the whole thing? I think it was a decisive victory for President Trump yesterday, but how, how much more should he cling to it? Nothing. Uh, Charles, I agree. Yesterday was a pretty doggone good day for Trump. I wish he'd leave this alone. I wish he'd move on. I think it's a mistake to go after Comey. I was so disappointed when I woke up this morning and saw that he tweeted at James Comey. I don't want him tweeting James Comey anymore. Cut my taxes, reform the tax code, build the wall. The longer, Charles, that he focuses on this, he's going to keep the story out there in the public. He's got to learn to win and move on. I will say, though, today uh, in the press conference, uh, uh, when he was asked by a reporter, he hit those three key parts, and then he did shift, Gina, into his agenda. So I think that message is beginning to resonate with him as well. Yeah, and I think that he had to say something because uh, there was just too much to do about it. And so I think that his statement was right. And I think it just is beginning to look like, Charles, they're having a little circus sideshow. And he's the adult in the room who's continuing on with business, continuing to talk about reforming our government and infrastructure and tax cuts and the things that really matter to Americans. And I think that middle America is full <coughs> on board with him, has no clue about all these nuances with Comey. And, and they're all saying, you know, we just want him to get the job done. Right. But, Bill, those nuances, uh, they probably will linger for some time. Uh, you know, of course, uh, 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 Comey had a closed session uh, with those same senators yesterday. There's uh, the ongoing investigations. Uh, so, so what do you make of it? Because politically, at least from a public relations point of view, it felt like Donald Trump had a gigantic victory yesterday. And Comey, he's got more questions to answer. Charles, I'd agree with you. It, it, but when I looked at this whole thing yesterday, I distilled it this way. A good part of it is theater, and it really, like Joe says, I wish it would just go away. The two important things that came out yesterday was the, uh, telling the American public the depth and the uh, the action that the Soviet that the that the Russians have taken to get into our democratic voting system that's very important and he brought that out the second thing is something that I really have an interest in and that is when Loretta Lynch came and told Jim Comey change it from an investigation to a matter she absolutely neutered that whole investigation because with an investigation you at least have the possibility to have a grand jury and issue subpoenas that's the only way you're going to get to the truth in a matter like hillary clinton's email and her server when she made it a matter he has no subpoena power and no no access to a grand jury i wonder did she make that decision on her own or did the, uh, somebody in the administration tell her this is how we're going to is shut it, Bill, down the Is it the possible Hillary to find thing. that out? Will it be possible for, for the current administration to go back and find out exactly what was the source, of, the origins of that order? I think it's possible because, you know, it's no double jeopardy or anything. There was no trial. Uh, uh, Jim Comey offered the prosecutive opinion, which is not helpful in that matter. But I really would like to see somebody take one more good look at that because I think there's a lot of potential in that particular Joe, part of the Joe, case. on that note, what do you make of, uh, of, of the, the senators, the GOP senators on this committee? Uh, listen, Marco Rubio had the best zinger, of course, but some people were frustrated that, that, that there were so many openings presented by Comey and that they didn't necessarily pounce, you know, t they didn't take it to him. Charles, I think they want this to go away, too. And look, I get that Trump had a pretty good day yesterday, but let's put some context here. The former FBI director called Donald Trump a liar. I just think, as a Trump supporter, anytime we got a day where we're talking about Russia and Comey, that's not a great day for Trump. When we're talking about tax cuts and tax reform, that's a better day. And I can tell you, a lot of my former colleagues up on the Hill, a lot of these Republican senators, Charles, they want to be done with this. They want to move on to policy.
Well, I don't know. We're going to talk about that later, Gina. I'm not sure what they want to do, to be quite frank with you. But uh, again, one of the, the recurring themes, I think, uh, since President Trump has come to Washington, is not a full-throated support uh, from, from, from these folks, uh, particularly on the, on the Senate side. They right. just never mm. really step up to the plate yeah. uh, uh, and really hammer home either his agenda or yeah. defend them. And it feels like often he's, he's out there by himself. Yeah, they need to take note of the fact that in their states, he fills stadiums, okay? While the left has to have Soros AstroTurf their events, President Trump has such a deep and loyal following. You can tell me polls all day long about his popularity or whatever, but Charles, those are the same polls that everybody was quoting to us all the way through the election saying he was going to lose. I think the people and the support speak for themselves, and these senators better take a look at the fact that this president is very popular with his base. They're very loyal, and they're willing to fight them if... Uh, if they don't get their job well, done. Well, apparently to some of these same senators are frustrated with President Trump's attorney. Do you think uh, his attorney, uh, you know, filing the, you know, these motions, uh, you know, they, they quibbled about typos and things like that, but do you think uh, this was the right move to continue to press it? We know that's we know that's President Trump's MO anyway, right? Yeah. I mean, he's a counterpuncher and he counterpunches pretty hard. Yeah, love Joe, but I want to say this. I feel like Republicans who are sitting at home watching their televisions right now, Charles, they are so tired of the Republican Party never fighting back and cowering in the corner every time they're accused of racism, sexism, God only knows, whatever. And so I think in a way, uh, this president's M.O. is part of what got him elected. And if he goes off of that to summon his base, I think he would risk maybe not looking like the man that they elected. Bill, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, the, 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 the lawyer, of course, uh, and, the, and his role in this now, he's, he's sort of become the, the surrogate, the mouthpiece, if you will. Obviously, as a personal attorney, but, uh, you know, again, because it's been pretty difficult on Capitol Hill to get these Republicans to step up to the plate and protect or, or circle the wagons around the commander in chief. Charles, when it comes to the attorney, it's a lot of blah, blah, blah. That's all I think about when I hear him talking. He's not going to file anything. They can't file anything against Comey. Comey's a civilian, and the, and the, uh, the attorney general's office is not going to do anything to him. But what I, I, I agree with Gina. The problem is, though, that some of the lawmakers, some of the, the Congress people, uh, are uh, somewhat afraid of him from the standpoint they don't know when he's going to turn on them. He's in the White House because of everything he said he was going to do. People like me voted for him, but I just wish he would get back online again, stay on center, and I think he'd have much more support from the Congress. Well, uh, then I'll give you the last word, Joe, because today the first question, of course, was about Comey. I think he had three key bullet points, and then he shifted to the task at hand. Is this what you want to see? Yeah, uh, well, look, Gina's right. We love the fact that Trump fights, but you can't fight all the time and you've got to be smart. Sure. It, was okay to, it was okay to fire Comey, but then after you fired him, you took shots at him. You've got to be smart, too.